Good morning, welcome to Dr. Patrick Live. And today we're gonna to ask a simple question. Why is trust so hard? Especially trusting in God. We go through life, even though Jeremiah chapter 17 says, if we trust in the Lord, we'll have less anxiety. Problem is, I wanna be in control of me. I wanna have my plans, I wanna do it my way, I wanna do it in my time, I don't care how it impacts anyone else. I just want to do what I want to do in this moment. And there's the problem. If I bring something to God and I say, Lord, what do you think about this? Or should I do it? Or should I not do it? Or what's your insight on this? I already have a preconceived idea most of the time of what I want to do. So then what I'm trying to do is sort of coax God into doing what I think is the best thing for me. Now, Sometimes it is the best thing, and sometimes it isn't. The problem is my gauge. So if I can't get what I want, it can create anxiety. Then I can step back and say, well, God, you don't trust me? But yet I really want God's direction. I want his wisdom. I want to know the right path. So why is trust so hard? Well, number one, I have to give up control. Whew. I like to be in control of things. I want to do things on my way, in my time. Trusting God means I give it over to God. And if God says, now's the time, then I do it. And if God says, wait, I wait. And sometimes there's silence. And I can't figure out what it is. And in that midst, I'm like in this agitated state of waiting. So giving up control is a thing. Two, trusting that God actually has my best interests in mind. There was a time in my life where I felt like God was sitting up there on the clouds with lightning bolts. And if I did the wrong thing, zoom, zap, right? He was out to get me. And so trusting that God actually wants the best for me, boy, that is hard. Especially when I grew up the way I grew up, where everybody wanted something from me. No one really cared about the best for me. And if they even told me that they did, they ended up proving it that they didn't later. So it's really hard to trust. So it's like this scan in my brain constantly looking, my hypervigilant saying, okay, what's going to happen? Who's going to burn me? What's going to happen now, right? It's really hard to trust that people will do the best for you. So that's the second thing, right? Believing that God is going to do the best for you. So giving up control, believing that God wants the best for you, and three, understanding that sometimes God's going to ask me to do things I don't want to do. Um, that's just a reality. I like to fly all over, do things, get in the moment, right? And sometimes God tells me, wait. Oh, really? Wait? So the timing of trust is tough, right? Because I have to believe in the right time in the right way. Then whatever is supposed to happen will take place. But man, trust is so hard. That surrender of my will to God, not my way, but his way, is really difficult. But Jeremiah tells us that if we trust in God, we will have no anxiety. He'll take it away. Because what you're basically doing is giving it over to God, trusting that God in his time and in his way is going to do the right thing. So the pressure's not on us. We do the best we can, but really the chips are with God. He holds the trump card. So trust allows us to take a breath and say, okay, Lord, I'm going to do the best I can today. But ultimately it's in your hands. You know everything. Nothing surprises you. Yesterday, today, and forever, you're still the same. And it gives this great sense of peace and contentment so that no matter what happens, we can get through it. There are times where I want to say, God, are you sure this is the plan? Then I step back and I say, okay, he knows the plan. I don't know the plan. And if I was laying out the plan, I'd want everything to work in the best way possible. I wouldn't want any friction. I wouldn't want anything negative. But here's the problem. You know, years ago, they did this experiment out in the Arizona desert, I believe, where they built this big dome. I think it was back in the 70s. And they put these scientists in it, and they were going to create a perfect environment and see what life was going to be like. 
Well, in that perfect environment, they started to realize that some of the trees were just falling over for no reason. And they were like, this is a perfect environment, perfect nutrition, no insects. Like, what in the world is happening? And so they did this investigation, and they realized that because there was no wind blowing against the trees, no resistance, the roots of the trees didn't go down deep to hold the tree up. It actually, they spread out on the surface, so just eventually the tree would get tall enough and it would fall over. It needed the resistance of the wind to build strong roots. Unfortunately, in this world in which we live, right, the strength comes when we overcome even little things. That's where the trust starts to build. We know that we can overcome all things God is with us. So no matter what is going on, we have to step back and trust that God is in control and not us. He'll get us through things. Sometimes I can't explain it, but I still trust. And because I trust, I have less anxiety. So I'm not sure what that means to you, but I hope today is an amazing day that you learn to trust more and that hopefully the anxiety lifts and the peace which passes all understanding will fill your soul. Peace out, Doc.